Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we will discuss about build context in a Flutter. There are many concepts in a Flutter that developers don't understand. Build context is also one of those. Build context is something like that if you are uh, wanted to solve any problem in your widget tree in any particular location, build context is one of the key solution that help you to solve those. In another word, it gives you context about your location in a widget tree. Uh, let's look at one of the our analogy. Just uh, imagine if you are a blindfolded and dropped off in a random city. So what do you do in that time? You would look context about your location to figure out where you are. So for that, what exactly you will do? You just searching any street sign. You just uh, searching exactly position of sun, or you can search any landmark to figure out where exactly you are. Right. So build context is something similar like that. In a widget tree, build context is like those sign and landmark for each widget location within the widget tree. Build context is basically most common used to look up where the widget tree located specific widget for example when you are using theme out of context or navigation out of context you are looking up to to the widget tree to find out theme or navigation that coincide with the location of current widget basically it just saying that where you are calling those function from any particular location so for my opinion you can think widget is a blueprint where you want flutter eventually code to build this blueprint so for that it is created by elementary and render tree elementary is basically handle life cycle of application and render tree is changes of displaying the ui in terms of build context so Basically, we only care about the elementary. So in elementary, each Flutter widget is corresponding to any element. This element within the elementary have a specific two purpose. First is holding the reference of parent and child widget. And second is hold the state of the widget. So that the elementary is a internal representation of the widget tree that Flutter use for performance and updating purpose each widget in a widget tree has corresponding to element in a element tree when you build a flutter app widget tree is created and for each widget in the tree correspond to element is created in the element tree element tree are responsible for managing connection between widget tree and underlying tender tree so for a render tree, render tree represent the visual and layout information that needed to paint an user interface on your screen. Each widget in a widget tree has corresponding to render object in a render tree. Render objects are basically responsible for rendering the visual representation of the widget in a screen. So when changing occurs in a widget tree, Flutter update corresponding element in a element tree. The element is done and updating the render object in render tree. This separation of widget tree, element tree and render tree allows Flutter to efficiently manage and updating the UI without rebuilding entire tree when only one portion is changes. So in a simple word build context represent the location of widget in a widget tree it provide access to this data media query data localization data or maybe any other data you can say this is basically a nearest ancestor of widget in a current widget so build context is access to widget and resource using the build context parameter in our build method each widget can access the context 
and it passed down throughout the widget tree by the framework. Let's take a one of the simple example. Let's say if you want to show a dialog box in your Flutter app, you can use show dialog method to create a dialog box, but it requires a build context parameter, right? So whenever you pass build context, your current widget know about where exactly you want to place this. Without the build context, you wouldn't able to create dialog box or any access resource in your app. You might also encounter error or unexpected behavior if you are not passing this build context. If you are trying to perform action, the build context parameter is much needed. So in a summary, build context is a crucial in Flutter application because it provides a way to locate and understand widget position in a widget tree. This information is a vital for navigating the widget tree, accessing relevant data and efficiently trigger UI updation. Basically, it contributes to responsive and well-optimized user interface in your Flutter application. So that's all about my information on this topic. So if you enjoy this video, give it thumbs up and hit subscribe button. Your support means a lot. So stay tuned for more videos and thank you for being here. Have a good day.